Welcome to the Rory Academy YouTube channel, where we present information that helps you improve your understanding and knowledge about power electronics technology and its emerging applications. Today, we will focus on the power electronics technology associated with Tesla Model 3. The Tesla Model 3 is the smallest and most affordable car from the Tesla brand. The Tesla Model 3 sold about 501,000 units in the year 2021. Based on research, the Tesla Model 3 retains resale value more than five times better than other EVs in its sedan category. The Tesla Model 3 consists of a battery pack with 2170 lithium iron phosphate LFP, battery cells. Therefore, the battery pack is made up of 4416 2170 LFP battery cells. The name of the battery cell 2170 is based on the cell's dimensions. The diameter of the battery cell is 21 mm, while the height of the battery cell is 70 mm. At a nominal voltage of 3.7 volts, each 2170 cell can be charged as high as 4.2 volts, with each cell storing up to 4800 mAh. While each 2170 cell can be discharged as low as 2.5 volts. The 2170-based battery pack architecture of the Tesla Model 3 is made up of battery bricks of 46 cells each. About 23 battery bricks are distributed in each battery module of the pack. Therefore, the 2170-based battery pack architecture consists of four battery modules with 23 battery bricks in the two outermost modules and 25 battery bricks in the two innermost modules. The 2170-based battery pack of the Tesla Model 3 is rated at 400 volts, which is floor-mounted in the vehicle. The high-voltage cables that connect the battery pack to the drive units of the Tesla Model 3 and the charging outlet of the vehicle is highlighted in orange. The rear drive unit is located between the rear wheels. The front drive unit, if equipped, is located between the front wheels. The drive units, through their inverter topology, convert the direct current DC, from the high-voltage battery pack into a three-phase alternating current AC, that the drive units use to power the wheels. Tesla Model 3 uses silicon carbide MOSFETs for its central inverter. It consists of 24 silicon carbide MOSFETs from ST Microelectronics with a custom package designed for it. Each of the silicon carbide MOSFETs is rated at 650 volts and 100 amperes. The Tesla Model 3 uses a three-phase two-level inverter topology with an input battery voltage of 400 volts. The conventional three-phase two-level inverter consists of a DC link voltage and six switching power semiconductor devices. As mentioned previously, the conventional three-phase two-level inverter consists of a DC link voltage and six switching power semiconductor devices. In this case, a conventional two-level inverter structure with four MOSFETs paralleled per switching device to handle the high current. The four MOSFETs paralleled per switching device in the inverter is switched on and off by the gate source voltage applied to the gate terminal of the device. Based on the information extracted from the datasheet, the device is entirely switched on when the gate source voltage is within 10 volts to 25 volts. When the four MOSFETs parallel per switching device have the appropriate gate source voltage applied, the voltage across each MOSFET will be 400 volts due to the input battery voltage level of the Tesla Model 3. Furthermore, current flows through the MOSFETs when switched on, while the current stops flowing through the MOSFETs when switched off. Therefore, we have a voltage rise when MOSFET is switched off, and the current falls at that instant with a slight delay. During the turn-on transition of the MOSFET, the current buildup consists of a short delay time, followed by the current rise time. After the current flows through the MOSFET, the device's voltage falls to a small on-state value with a voltage fall time. The two peak spikes are illustrated to represent the turn-on and turn-off transition. The smaller peak represents the turn-off transition and the energy dissipated in the MOSFET at that instant. On the other hand, the higher peak represents the turn-on transition and the energy dissipated in the MOSFET. The turn-on and turn-off transition is superimposed on the current rise and current fall instance for better illustration. In the next series of videos, the power electronics technology deployed in the other Tesla model brand will be addressed. First thing you need to do now is subscribe to the Rory Academy YouTube channel and enjoy our weekly videos on power electronics technology in emerging applications, such as electrified transportation.